There is always a delay in how the stock market will react to the inflation trend. In this case, the CPI peaked at 9% and that was in June 2022 and it came off until today and that was good news. The stock market met its trough in December 2022 and it went up until today. But if you notice that this stock market met its trough and that was half a year later. So the stock market finally decided to move up six months later. And how about this bear market of 2022? And I saw some similarity in how the stock market has reacted to this inflation trend. And today we'll discuss how the stock market will react to inflation data for the rest of the year and beyond. My name is Kon Hao. My work on this channel, as always, is to study behavior science and finance, discover correlation between different markets, and uncover potential opportunities. And before we get into the subject, please do take some time to read into the disclaimer. And this bear market started in the beginning of 2022 for the whole entire year. And we could see that it started to peak in December 2021. And six months before that, and what we saw is that inflation reached a high of uh, about 5% here in June 2021. And why was this month very significant? Because it was the first time that Jerome Powell or the Fed chairman hiked the interest rate of 75 basis point. And after that, he did another three more 75 basis point. And that was a signal to market watcher that the Fed finally decided to turn on the tap that they are seeing that it is an urgent call to hide the interest rate at 75 basis point. And still remember that uh, before that, uh, the US Federal has been saying that the inflation is under good control because of the transitory effect of the post pandemic. And but so this is a wake up call where the urgent about inflation is hot but it only took six months later for the stock market to peak before it come down. And next, we're going to discover how sensitive the stock market is to inflation number. The last 12 months, when the CPI stagnated at above 3%. So from 9%, it came off, it reached 3%, but it has been 12 months on that the inflation is not coming down to 2%. It has been frustrating for investors and definitely very frustrating for the Fed chairman that inflation is coming down. And what we're going to do here is that we're going to study a little bit more detail in the month-to-month -month that each uptake, how is the stock market behaving. And I'm seeing a lot of stress point here is that for the August CPI data, which were only published in September for August CPI, and we could see that there was an uptake and how the market have reacted to it negatively. And how about this uptick of CPI data, which is the March CPI data? There was an uptick, and from March, which were only published in August here, or April, and we could see that the April uh, NASDAQ have came down quite sharply. And we could see that the relationship between, or the sensitivity between the inflation data and the stock market. And let's discuss about, at this point, the inflation data have stagnated for 12 months by now. And at this point, I would say it's a pivot point that either the inflation could go up or come down from here. And I could say that the Fed or the Jordan Powell will not know what will be the coming data. So as an investor, we have to be proactive on what's coming ahead. Now, of course, we understood with this presentation here is that if inflation start to make a U-turn and move up, it will definitely create a lot of stress point for the stock market. But the good news is that if it ever break below three and start to trend down, the stock market will continue to move up. And let's look at what Jerome Powell is going to do. Will Jerome Powell know how the CPI direction will be? I can, I can tell that he will not know as he keeps saying this, he's hinting to the market is this. He said the committee will carefully access incoming data, the evolving outlook, and the balance of risk. We will continue to make decision meeting by meeting. And he will not know 
how is the coming data will be. But at least today, we learn how to, or we can prepare ourselves when the CPI start to pivot either way. The market are always telling us on their next move. Stay tuned for my coming tutorial. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Join us in our weekly case study and discussion. Click on my profile icon or description below to find out more. Feel free to leave me any comments below. I love to exchange ideas with you. Really happy that I stay through this tutorial. You have many great training weeks ahead.